Hello there and welcome back to Lemmings Plus 3. So we're currently up to the dodgy rank. So our first level here is called Boost Jumper. So this level is basically the idea behind it is that you've got to like you can't just come up from the bottom, you've got to use the bombers to gain some extra height, which is not strictly speaking true. There are solutions that don't use bombers for extra height, but they're not the easiest or most obvious solutions. And despite being the first level of dodgy, it's actually one of the harder ones in the rank. So as you can see, you've only got seven builders here, so that's why you've got to use the height boosts and things. Even with that, you've got to use a reverse miner to actually get everyone or get enough lemmings home. And so we're on to level two, which is if the river runs red. And yes, the name is a reference to that saying about taking the dirt road. <laughs> yeah, I kind of couldn't resist. Um, this level was the first level made in the Martian graphic set. Now, originally it was a timid level with 20 or might have been 15 of everything. But yeah, I found a harder solution later, so I boosted it up to the second rank. And basically this level is all a matter of timing. If you time it right, you can get a climber ahead and close off this gap before the basher finishes getting all the way through. This level has a repeat in the Lemmings Plus 3 bonus pack, which is basically the same concept, just with a more difficult setup. So we're on to level 3, which is Flea Market, which is one of the more unique levels in Lemmings Plus 3. So the idea here is as you can see you start with no skills but you've got a whole bunch of pickup skills up here and it's basically a matter of getting and using them correctly working out which ones to use to get more skills and which ones to use to actually solve the level and as you can probably tell some of them aren't actually used at all just sort of there as distractions This level is quite an easy example of this concept. Lemmings Plus Omega actually uses this concept again, but in a much harder setup in one of the mental final rank levels. So that's it. That's third level, and we're now on to the fourth level which is Excavation Expedition 2. So as you can see, this version has 20 lemmings and requires 100%. And you've only got four of everything this time. So because you've got four of everything, there's still a fair few ways to solve it, but in this case, we're gonna be taking the Teleporter. And as you can notice, the lemming goes into the Teleporter as a basher, so he also comes out of it as a basher. So there's not too many levels that actually make use of that, go through a teleporter, come out doing the same thing technique. So it's quite a unique one to see. So this fifth level is a lemming for your thoughts. Now this was actually originally a rough level that required 98%. Aside from that, it was the same as it is now. And because originally the plan for lemmings plus three was a larger level count than it ended up with, I, if I remember correctly, I was going for 25 levels per rank. And when I decided to cut it down to 15, Ruff already had more than 15 levels, so two of them had to be moved to other ranks. So one, this one came back to Dodgy, and the other one went up to Fierce. But yeah, saving 96% on this level isn't a particularly hard task. Saving 98% is a bit more challenging, but as you can see there, it's clearly possible. So we're on to level 6 now, which is Frantic Frenzy. It's one of the two Frenzy levels in Lemmings Plus 3. 
and this is basically just, you could probably describe it as Flosha Frenzy on crack. So as you can see, we don't have 80 lemmings, we've got 500 lemmings to deal with here. We only have to save 40% of them, but we've got a 99 release rate, and we have infinite floaters to work with. So, you can pretty much guess how this level plays out. Floater, 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 floater. So yeah, as I mentioned, it really is just a longer version of Floater Frenzy more than anything else. There's another Frenzy level in Lemmy Plus 3 and that one's a bit more unique than this one. I actually did a test run on this level, like basically pre-assigning floaters to all lemmings automatically and seeing how many would be saved, which is like the best way to work out the maximum possible. And it turned out to be somewhere around the 80% mark. So yeah, so we're on to level seven now, which is experimental materials. I we'll save every lemmy here and we've got three of everything. So as you notice, like X of everything, often with quite a low value of X, is somewhat of a recurring theme throughout Lemmings Plus 3. Kind of like full survival puzzles in Lemmings Plus 2 in a way. Yeah, this one's basically just a big wall with three different one-way sections. We've got a right, a down, and a left. And of course when that's all done you've got to free the blocker as well because it's 100% required. So we've used the the Medi-6 tactic there of have a lemming that comes into level 8 digging bash. So now onto level 8 which is synergistic effect and this is actually one of my favourite lemmings plus 3 levels. It's a full survival puzzle but lemmings plus 3 doesn't have nearly as many of those as lemmings plus 2 did, at least not in the same sense. But it's also quite a unique one, because as you can see, this fall is a very large one, so we actually need to break it into three separate falls. I know we could possibly do it as two if we could get to in the middle here somewhere, but we can't, so... This level originally had about 40 or 50 lemmings, but at the time it was made, I don't think Neo Lemmings had a directional select feature yet, so it was quite hard to pick one for this last build. And having a lot of lemmings didn't really add anything to this level, so that's why it, in the final version, only has 10 lemmings. As you can see, we saved 80% here, even though we only need 70%. There's actually a very different solution that saves 90% on that level, but that's the main intended solution there. So that puts us halfway through the dodgy rank. So we'll finish this video here as usual. I'll do the two in a row. So I'll have another one up finishing off the rest of dodgy. But hope you're enjoying this and have a good day.